Howdy pals! So today I'm making a video that I was actually not planning on making for a pretty long time. <laughs> so this video has been requested a numerous amount of times and not even through like the internet or DMs or anything. I mean like through friends, through school, literally people I don't even know come up to me and ask if I can do this. Family, that's right, my own kin has asked me to do this. So today I am doing a makeup tutorial. Now don't get me wrong, I have nothing against makeup tutorials. I love makeup myself and I actually like aspire to be a makeup artist so it's not something that I like have anything against but it's not something that I'm really good at creating content about. So anyway for this video I have tried to combine the best of both worlds from me making dorky videos about myself that hopefully entertain people and something that I really enjoy doing like makeup and combining it together to, even if you don't like makeup, maybe you can be entertained by this or get a good laugh out of it. Either way, you should keep watching. <laughs> I feel like if this was a real makeup tutorial though, I'd have some kind of cool like makeup montage before the tutorial, but I figure we can leave that out this time. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> I love you. Okay, so to start off, I feel like I should introduce you guys to someone new, the no makeup side of me. This side of me we call Mole Katie. She doesn't usually come out very often, but when she does, it's usually late at night or very early in the morning. Also, I can be spotted out like this whenever I'm like going to the grocery store at like 10 o'clock at night, so watch out. Okay, but in all honesty, uh, I like to think that I have decent skin. I mean, I don't get pimples that often, and when I do, they usually go away within like the next week or so. So because of that, see my segues are great because I'm like a beauty guru. I like to use pretty light coverage face products. Um, I'm just gonna put the names of everything that I use down below because <laughs> I'm professional, but like really I'm just lazy and I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. So I take the really light shade and then I take the slightly darker shade. I honestly don't even know why I got this. I am not shade medium. I am an albino, so I, I don't know what I was thinking. I love it when my camera decides to shut off right when I look like an Apache Indian. Now I'm just gonna blend it out. Now I look just like I did without makeup except slightly more evened out that probably no one else can tell but me. Now I'm just gonna take my concealer that is literally the lightest shade that they make because, again, albino. Sometimes I wonder if in my past life I was a panda because my dark circles are so black, but um... <laughs> Concealers for kids. So now I'm just gonna beat my face again with a slightly smaller sponge. So now, just take the cocaine, I mean, <laughs> the setting powder, and I just tap some of it off because I don't want to look more like a ghost than I already am. So now that I have most of my imperfections concealed and tucked away, I'm just gonna go in and uh, add some color to my face so I look less like my ghostly form. To really add that extra color in my face, I'm going to add this um, <laughs> blush that has literally been through hell and back. Yeah, we don't talk about her very much. She just kind of gets tucked away and I use her on special occasions. So now I'm just going to make myself look like the actual Tin Man by coating every inch of my body in highlighter. Since my chin is already a dagger, I decided to go the extra mile and highlight it so it looks like it could stab an entire army. Okay, so now for the bit that literally I take so much pride and joy in, my eyebrows. I literally have spent so long perfecting my eyebrows and now I just finally have gotten it. So, so we're turning into Katie intellectual mode right now, so <laughs> prepare yourself. If I have any like fancier or like special occasions or like if I'm filming a video for instance, Usually I will use my more expensive product, which is like this brow wiz that everyone uses. But if I'm not, and if it's just my day-to-day -day life going to school, I just use a pomade and a brush. So I'm just going to show you how to do that today because it's most realistic to what I actually do. We're going to zoom you up real quick. So literally what I do is I brush down my eyebrow hairs so I look like a middle school boy. No offense to middle school boys though, they're trying their hardest. Just you need to um, take care of your eyebrows. But here's the, here's the trick folks. 
I take the end of the brush where it has the product and I squish it so it makes it like super thin. So then I can get that really precise eyebrow. This is really interesting, I'm sure. So I just dipped into more product, squished it down, and now I'm just gonna do the rest of my eyebrow. like a face on um, we're just gonna move on to the eyes so 99% of the time I'm gonna be using this makeup palette right here which is my all-time favorite it's by Morphe it's great but don't let your mom get a hold of it because she might burn it with the curling iron love you mom so I'm just mixing these neutrally shades into my crease -roo. now I'm just gonna take those same shades and go in under my eye now I'm just going to take a slightly darker shade, and by slightly darker, I mean a good couple shades darker. And I'm just going to define my crease with this. I'm just going to take an even finer brush, and I'm going to go in and make it even a little bit more dark. <laughs> and I'm going to do this method called foiling, and basically you just take a damp brush and you dip it into the eyeshadow or pigment and it'll give like a metallic-y finish to it. Just like that. Okay, so now that I'm officially done with the eyeshadow and everything, we will move on to the grand finale, kind of-ish, not really, but it's a big part of my look. Um, it is the liquid liner, even though my parents hate it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it in the past and I take a lot of pride and joy into my liquid liner skills because I've gone through a lot of trial and error with this. <laughs> so again, for this we're just gonna zoom me up real close and good. That was horrific, I apologize. Um, it's probably not the safest idea to be doing this on my white Calvin Klein bed sheets, but um, try new things. And that is how it's done. So I just went ahead and curled my lashes and did mascara and sometimes I have to put fake lashes on like the outer corners of my eyes just to like give them some flair but I didn't really feel like it today so yeah. But no really this should be um, one of the last times I do a makeup tutorial unless I get like super like high demand for them again. But yeah I think for now I'll just stick to my dorky videos. <clears throat> So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and also make sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos not really like this from me, um, but videos more like my last ones from me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye